All right, for my final project, I decided to do a vending machine with 10 states. Now this vending machine only accepts dollars and quarters, and it sells sodas, three different choices for $1.50 each. The input for quarters is input one, switch one, switch one. Now, it displays your quarter count um, with the highest with the highest order bit being on the left up until LED4 being the lowest bit and the quarter return being the LED0 to LED3. On the push button, it will jump from one state, give you a count. There's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Now I can choose to go to dollar signs, which would be my next state, which would be my next input, which is input two. And on the input, it will jump up to eight. Now, once it has reached a number that is higher than $1.50, it will no longer take quarters nor dollars. As shown here, I will increase it high again, and it won't take a higher amount. I will lower it again. And now raise the quarters, and it will not give me any more amount. At any point during this program, I can choose to get a coin returnage, which is input three, and it will give me the same exact amount of same amount return that I have right now as my quarter count. Now I choose to dispense, and on the right side it shows how much how many quarters I will get in return. I have eight quarters in total right now, so in return, I will get two quarters back due to my total being $1.50, which is six quarters. I jump to the next state, and now my quarter count and my quarter return is zero due to my quarters being released. Once inside the state, I have a choice of either, of either one, of either one, for my soda, two for my soda, where I can choose option three for my soda. Now notice, when option three is high and I put two or one high, it will not display anything. And if I go, if I try to go on to the next state, it will stay at the same state until I choose only one soda or the other. So I choose so I choose two. I mean three. I go to the next state. Next state. And now I am at a, now that I'm at state zero back to the beginning of my program. Once here I'm going to count out to one dollar and seventy five cents. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna start with the quarters first counting to seventy five which would be three quarters, one, two, and three. Once there, I'm gonna switch over two dollars. One. Now I have a dollar and seventy-five cents. I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose to return my coinage. Which is gonna show the same exact amount that I have for my current return. Coin return on this side, that's my quarter count on this side. And I'll press the button, and now I'm back to state zero. So let's start over again, and now let's send this dispense. So, quarter count one, two, three. Now we go to dollar count, and only. and only one. Once inside my dollar count, I'm gonna choose to dispense, which is input four. Now, since I have a dollar and 75 cents, I should only get one quarter returned, which as we see here, it is showing only the least significant bit as high, meaning that it's only gonna give me back one. 
I jump to the next state. I now have zero coin return and zero quarter, ca quarter count. Once again, I'm going to choose either one. This time I'll choose one. This being the lowest bit, this being the most significant, this being the most significant bit, and this being the lowest bit. That's one. This would be two. Once again, showing my logic. So let's just go with two this time. Go to the next state. And now I don't have anything. There is also another thing. So I'm going to quarter count. Count my quarters. And I have, and I have one. Now, let's say that I choose to put in a dollar and a quarter at the same time. The machine will not read it and it will not set the value. And I will stay at the same state. You can only choose one or the other because in real life situations, the machine will not take both at the same time or cannot read both at the same time, but can only read one or the other. Now these can be split second kind of ideas, but this being a timer that is being pushed by myself, it would be a little bit harder to demonstrate. So there's one, and now there's nine quarters. There's $2.25. Once again, dispense. I mean, that's return. Dispense, which should give me two quarters back. Three quarters back due to um, me having nine quarters and eating six for the sodas. And last time, let's go with three. And now that's gone. And that is my state machine for my final project, which is a vending machine once again. And here I show my inputs being dollars. Now my states jump from quarter to quarter. So starting off with 25 cents, zero, better said zero, which is state idle. Quarters equal to one, which quarter count is more of an, more outputs more than anything than 25 cents. Quarter two is 50 cents, quarter three, 75 cents and it continues on in the same pattern. Now, once it hits two quarter six, or one dollar and fifty cents, I said before, it will no longer take dollars or quarters, but instead, it will either stay at the state if I choose not to pass the spends, or it will jump to dispense state 10 if I choose to have dispense as high. And once there, I can choose soda one, which would give me a one in binary for a soda, or SD one, SD2, which will give me a 2 for soda, and SD3, which will give me a 3 for soda. And from there, once that is dispensed, it will jump back around and start back at idle.